Hi, in this video we will talk about how to create a simple two-axis chart. For example, number of patients and on the right hand side we want to show the number of deaths. And you can see that they are color coordinated so the patients are in blue and for deaths it's in red color. So let's get started. So this is what we're going to do. Create a two-axis chart, change the breaks on the secondary axis and then also change the colors of labels on each axis. We'll be using these two libraries, ggplot2 and library dplyr. Let's create some data using this command. So if I look at my data frame, df, I have three columns, date, patients, and deaths. So this is a fictitious data showing the dates for a month, and then number of patients for each date, and number of deaths for each date. So using this data, let's create a simple line plot. So if I run this command, which is going to create a ggplot chart, a line chart. So this is the chart which we get, but it's not very clear because we have the scale of the deaths is much smaller than the number of patients. So it doesn't look very informative at this stage. So to introduce another axis called the secondary axis, we can use this command. So saying the scale y continuous, the first scale, which is on the left hand side, is the, the patients, which is our primary axis. And then we are saying that our secondary axis now is the one which appears on the right hand side. And we want to divide the scale by 10. So instead of 250, we want to see 25 and so on. We are also defining the breaks which we want to use, for example, 5, 10, 15, 20. And I can restrict my numbers from 10, 5 to 20 because we know that number of deaths are not more than 20 um, each day. And the name I want to give to the secondary axis is deaths. So the primary axis was patients and the secondary axis is deaths. So if I run this command now, our chart becomes a little bit more meaningful. We have number of patients being shown there. This is the blue line which we get. And then the red line is the number of deaths. And this is the, the scale or the breaks which corresponds to that. So we can clearly see that it hovers between maybe between 7 and 12 each day. Let's add some more information in that. This time we are saying that the data is DF. On the x-axis we have date, obviously. And we've clearly defined our lines as patients and deaths, giving the color red and blue, and then defining the theme BW. We have already discussed about the scale Y continuous. That this is the primary axis. This is the secondary axis. And we are dividing the, this command is actually saying that we want to divide whatever was the primary axis by 10. And then we are forcing it to break at 5, 10, 15, 20 and the name was deaths. And apart from that, we are saying now, the title of the y-axis, which is the primary axis, is going to be in blue color. And all the text which appears on the, on the y-axis is also in blue color. But what appears on the right-hand side, which is the secondary axis, has to be in red color. And then apart from that, we are just putting some labels for the x-axis, y-axis, and a title at the top. So if I run everything together now, our chart looks more meaningful because we can clearly associate the blue color with the patients. And this is the scale used for that. This is the line. And for the deaths, we have uh, everything in red color. This is the line which shows the number of deaths on each day. This is the breaks or the, or the scale which we are using for this. So if I wanted to show the number of deaths as a, as a column chart, I can do that as well by simply changing the line chart to call. And then instead of the color, we want to fill it by the red color. And if I run all the lines now, we should be actually getting a column chart at the bottom. So this is the number of deaths each day. And this is the number of patients each day. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.